always thought they were stupid. I'm sure you've all heard the fable of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. He was recruited by the people of a town called Hamelin to rid them of their rats by luring them away with his music. The townspeople then reneged on their prearranged deal to pay him. So he lures away the children the same way. Slightly psychotic, I'll readily admit. But even as a young child, I remember thinking it was the people of Hamlin's fault. There was an agreed price which they refused to pay. Their choice has led to those consequences. Stupid people. In life, everything has a price. It might be financial. It might be time. It might be effort. It might be mental energy. But everything has a price. And that price needs to be paid to get the results at the end. We all have to pay the piper in every decision we ever make. Despite what many fit pros claim, there is a price to what we recommend. It does, of course, take some time and effort. And it does take some money. The fit pros who say eating healthily doesn't cost any more are usually just recommending a switch from white bread to brown. And I never see any success stories from those dudes. Ultimately, it comes down to whether you think that price is worth it. If someone chooses to eat crap and spend the money saved elsewhere, that's cool. That's their choice. If they'd rather spend their time on other stuff, who are we to tell them that's wrong? But the time, money, effort, mental energy, etc. are all there. If we choose to allocate them. There is a price to pay to getting in shape. We freely admit it. But after helping hundreds and hundreds of people completely transform their lives and bodies... Do you know how many of them have regretted paying that price? Zero. They all click this link to get started, by the way. The academygtc.co.uk forward slash briefing dash meeting. Much love, John, Pie-Eyed Piper, Hall, and Matt, Rowdy, Roddy, Nicholson.